Product Composition Test Card Sample Extraction Tube Tube Cap Sampling Swab 1. Gently insert the swab tip 2 to 3 cm into one nasal cavity. 2. Gently rotate the swab 5 rounds for 20 seconds. Do not force the swab in case of injuries to the nose. 3. Repeat step 1 and 2 in the other nasal cavity. Four, peel off the aluminum foil seal from a sample extraction tube. Five, place the swab into sample extraction tube. Stir the swab in the solution at least five times. Six, squeeze the tube with fingers and move the swab up and down for at least three times to expel any sample solution from the swab. Take out the swab. Seven, insert the tube cap firmly on the sample extraction tube. Eight, Gently squeeze the tube for three times to mix the sample solution. Put the tube still for one minute. Nine, open the pouch to take out a test card. Hold the tube upside down. Squeeze to add three drops of sample solution into the loading well on the test card. 10, read the results after 15 minutes. The result is considered inaccurate and invalid after 30 minutes. Note. Do not reload sample solution onto a used test card. Positive. Red bands appear at both of T and C line in 15 to 30 minutes. A white band at the T line should be considered as a negative result. Negative. A red band appears at C line while no red band appears at T line in 15 to 30 minutes after sample loading. Invalid. If no red band appears at C line, the test result is invalid. Retest the sample with another test card. 11. Disinfect used products, samples, and other consumables with bleach spray, containing 5% to 9% sodium hypochlorite, and dispose of them as medical wastes under relevant regulations. 12. Wash the hands thoroughly after the test. COVID-19 Antigen Detection Kit Testing Procedure saliva and or sputnum samples, product composition, test card, tube cap, paper cup, sample extraction tube, dropper. One, rinse your mouth out with clean water. Two, clear your throat and expectorate deep cough saliva and or sputnum into the paper cup. Note, an early morning saliva and or sputnum sample coughed up by clearing your throat before brushing your teeth and breakfast is recommended. 3. Use a dropper to draw the sample to about half the height of the dropper. 4. Peel the aluminum foil seal off a sample collection tube. 5. Add three drops of the sample in a sample extraction tube. Six, insert the tube cap firmly on the sample extraction tube. Seven, gently squeeze the tube three times to mix the sample solution. Hold the tube still for one minute. Eight, open the pouch to take out a test card. Hold the tube upside down. Squeeze to add three drops of sample solution into the loading well on the test card. Nine, read the results after 15 minutes. The result is considered inaccurate and invalid after 30 minutes. Note, do not reload sample solution onto a used test card. Interpretation of results. Positive. Red bands appear at both of the T and C line in 15 to 30 minutes. A white band at the T line should be considered as a negative result. Negative. A red band appears at the C line while no red band appears at the T line in 15 to 30 minutes after sample loading. Invalid. If no red band appears at the C line, it indicates that the test result is invalid. Retest with another test card. 10. Disinfect used products, samples, and other consumables with bleach spray, containing 5% to 9% sodium hypochlorite, and dispose of them as medical wastes under relevant regulations. 11. Wash your hands thoroughly after the test.